Howdy friends, and welcome back to Toy Box Nostalgia. I'm Douglas. In this video, we're going to be tearing open the absolute, brand new, 2024 Mattel Turtles of Grayskull Leonardo. That's right, I purchased this on eBay, and this is the domestic version, so hopefully the comic book on the inside does in fact have words in it. Now, I gotta say before we dive in, if you're new to Toy Box Nostalgia, you'd love to see more content like this show up into your newsfeed, please consider hitting that subscribe button, it truly helps out the channel. If you like the content of this video, please consider hitting the thumbs up button, it really helps out the channel also, and drop a comment below letting me know what you think of the Turtles of Grey Skull, specifically Leonardo. Will you be collecting this? really cool looking action figure. Do you already have it? Have you taken toy photographs of it? If you have, I'd love to see them. Thank you so much for watching my friends. I'm gonna catch you after this quick break. Here it is my friends, let's just dive right in. So, this packaging, we have seen this packaging now three times, this is our fourth time seeing it. Turtles of Grayskull is glossy. I don't know if you can see that really well or not. We do have He-Man on the left side, Leonardo on the right side. Typical for the, I guess, hero this is the Heroic Warriors, it says Heroic. Heroic Ninja Turtle, Leonardo. Turtles of Grayskull, down here we have the Mattel logo. We do have that same sticker on the front here, Masters of the Universe X, Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. The action figure looks great. The bubble looks awesome, looks super vintage, except for, I guess, these parts here. They probably had to put these parts for the to accommodate the um, bandanas that are kind of flowing. We do see that we have a comic book in the back and there is writing on it. That's great. So that's cool. Let's get some good shots of that this time. Anyways, flipping over to the back, we have another awesome painting. Look at this painting. I can't believe that Dark Horse is putting out a book right now about the art of the Origins line, which I think is the artwork of all of the backs of the uh, packaging that comes with Mattel's uh, Masters of the Universe Origins line because they're not done yet. Look what they're doing. They need to add this too. Uh, includes comic book. Great. So we have our logos up here. We have the nice purple and green. It's like framing it. Looks really awesome at the top. That painting is just fantastic. That just looks awesome. I can't wait to get Shredder. He looks amazing. We have a blurb right here about what happened and how this all occurred. It shows the action shot of the sword being two pieces. That's kind of cool. And then we have a cross sell here. We have Donatello, Leonardo, Man at Arms, and He-Man. And now we have opened all of them once we're done with this. So this is definitely the domestic version. Here's the barcode in case you need it. And pretty much everything is going to be recyclable, as you see there. Very awesome. Let's go ahead and just tear it open. This, this is amazing. It's so cool to see Leonardo. I can't wait to get Raphael and Michelangelo. But this is everything you get in the package right here. Here we have this nice blister. And you see these swords are massive. They look huge in person. Uh, we do have a lot of plastic bands. We're going to have to cut those up. And let's check out our comic book here. Here are the instructions. We do have words here. And we do have words here. And this looks amazing. So just a contrast. Here is the non-domestic version next to the domestic version. For the domestic for the U.S. That is. Uh, you see there's, there's extra words here. It says the power of pizza uh, on the bottom left. And then if you take a look. We'll just look at the first page here. You can see that... The non-domestic version has no words in it, which is kind of cool. It's, you know, it's kind of neat to have both. That way you could see more of the artwork. That's pretty cool. I actually never thought of that until just right now. So I'm glad I have both of them. Again, I purchased these from eBay. All right, let's go ahead and get this guy out of this plastic bubble. So this is everything that you get with the action figure. You get the action figure. You get this extra piece right here, which looks like some sort of arm shield. Maybe it goes over here. And then you get the two pieces of the sword, which combine together. You get the instructions and you get the comic book. So I'm going to flip through the comic book so that you can pause and read it if you like. On the back of the comic book, we do have a cross sale. We see right here, we have Leonardo, He-Man, Donatello, and Man-at-Arms. All right, so let's immediately start with the details of the action figure. Let's 
push these arm bands up. They're kind of falling off pretty easily here. All right, so I had to pull up the shoulder protectors there because they were falling off pretty easily, but that's okay. Take a look at that armor right there. So the emblem on the inside, I don't know if I'll be able to catch it, right? But it's like shimmery. That looks awesome. The whole thing is absolutely matte finish. We do have like, like almost like car paint, you know, where you see like, you know, sparkles inside of it when the light hits it in the right way. Everything else is completely matte finish, but it's also raw plastic too, like for the green essentially. Now the head, the head is hard plastic. It's not like a squishy head or anything. And he does in fact, as we saw, only come with one head. But just take a look at those the amount of detail in that. That looks crazy good, right? Oh, look at that fur right there. That just looks crazy. So the details in the sculpt look absolutely fantastic, and I'm honestly surprised by Mattel. Like, lately, the stuff they've been doing has been kicking ass, especially with the Masterverse stuff. To me, at least, I think it's been re looking really, really good. All right, so let's move on to articulation. So this is typical... Masters of the Universe Origins articulation, so we do have a head that's on a ball joint, as you see there, just snaps on and off. The arms go up and down on a hinge and they swivel. We do not have any movement at the bicep, that is a single sculpt. Let me move this down a little bit so you can see that right there. We do have movement at the elbow, of course, and it spins and it's on a hinge, and then the hands obviously can move pretty much all the way around, the hinge goes out rather than at the top of the wrist. So it goes this way and this way and you know obviously it can be swapped for other hands. Hopefully they release other hands in the future. Something I'm noticing, I noticed like right off the bat, is the skin tone. So the skin tone of this Leonardo doesn't is not the same as the skin tone of Donatello. Let's take a look at that. Here we go. So as you see here, the skin tone is different. Donatello is closer to an olive color and Leonardo is a little bit of like a cool like evergreen uh, really cool looking I really like the 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 design of these uh, I think they all look absolutely fantastic but if we take a look at the vintage Donatello he was like a real I loved the color of this god playmates did such a good job with this this is not the vintage one this is like a some sort of classic re-release as you see there's like you know YouTube and stuff on there which didn't exist in the 80s when I was a little kid uh, I just bought this just because and I've been keeping it in the package just because I'm it makes me smile when I see it especially around this time of year the holidays I get all nostalgic all right moving down to the waist it does come apart typical origin style that looks awesome and it swivels. There's no ab crunch, you know, that's okay. It's a turtle, right? We have the typical ball joints here at the hips for the legs. So you can do a probably a pretty good kick with this, this action figure. Yeah, pretty good kick. And the head movement's like really good on this one. I like that a lot. Uh, there's not much to get in the way of the head movement. And finally, we have the knee, which uh, swivels, thankfully, and has a hinge also. It goes back like a normal knee. Uh, this part does come off, so you can swap legs if you wish with other Origins action figures. It's the same exact connector. And the foot, it swivels up and down, and it has an awesome rocker, which means that we could get that really cool posing where, with the legs spread apart, the feet can plant flat on the ground. Very cool. All right, so now let's move on to accessories. So he does come with this, which I believe is an extra armband. Just going to remove a hand. So I'm just going to put this up onto the arm here. Yes, very cool. I mean, it might go onto the leg. Maybe not. F probably not. I feel like it's too small for a leg. But these pieces love to fall off of the biceps. But there we go. Looks a lot like a samurai to me. Looks awesome. Let's take a look at the sword. It does come in two parts. What is wrong with me? So any of you out there that are familiar with the vintage, um, you know exactly what this means. This is probably a sword of power. There's going to be probably an evil side and a good side. And when they go together, they should be used as a key to get into Castle Grayskull. There we go. They just snap together just like that. Pretty thick sword when it snaps together, but that's okay. As I mentioned, it does become a key. 
and there is a place to hold the sword here. Ugh, it's a tight squeeze, but that looks <laughs> pretty awesome. Oh man, this just looks so cool. I love this. All right, let's get him to hold the sword. This is pretty. This is a pretty easy unboxing and review. I mean, there's pretty much one accessory. <laughs> There we go. Take a look at that, right? That is awesome. This action figure looks fantastic. So let's do our test. Can it stand? It is pretty top heavy, but yes, it can stand. Very nice. I mean, there's so much articulation and with the rockers on the feet, I didn't doubt that it was gonna stand, to be honest with you. Yeah, that's just, that's fantastic. That just looks amazing to me. Look at this action figure. Like, what is Mattel doing with this stuff? This makes me so happy. I love it so much. I think I love it too much, to be honest with you. But yeah, so that's it. We now have unboxed all four action figures from wave one of Mattel's Turtles of Grayskull. So here we go. All four of these together. Oh, this is, this is nuts. Like, this is nuts. Like, what is happening? How, how did this become a thing? <laughs> keep going with this, Mattel, please. Please, if you're listening, keep going with this. Give us a Castle Grayskull that looks awesome with, like, turtle shells and shit on it. This is badass looking, right? This is badass looking. I love this. I just, that uh, Mattel did not disappoint me with this Leonardo. The, the, <laughs> the sculpt is awesome. The white eyes, man. We all know what white eyes means when it comes to Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles action figures. It means business. Like, this guy's ready to battle, right? <laughs> oh, so cool. Oh, I, I love this so much. There's a good amount of articulation. I'm honestly surprised that Mattel made this. I'm surprised. I was surprised to even hear about this. So, let me know what you think of Wave 1 of Turtles of Grayskull now that we've opened every action figure. Can't wait to take toy photographs of this. Drop a comment below letting me know what you think of Leonardo, Donatello, Man-at-Arms, and He-Man. Wave 1. Oh, so great. I didn't even know that He-Man was like the antagonist, you know? And the coolest part about it is it's because of the slime pit. Look at that slime pit right there. Ah, oh, man, I'm really hoping that Mattel releases a sli that slime pit that they showed, that they teased in the, uh, in the painting of, of He-Man. That was just so awesome on the back of the He-Man action figure. That's great. That's great news, right? This is something new. It's so cool. Like, really new. Like, wild, right? Anyways, thank you so much for watching, my friends. If you're new to Toy Box Nostalgia, you love to see stuff like this show up into your news feed, please consider hitting that subscribe button. If you like the content of this video, please consider hitting the thumbs up button. That really helps me out a lot. And thank you so much for watching, my friends, and sticking to the end. I hope that you have an amazing holiday. And yeah, I just, I don't even know what to say. I'm just so excited. Let's just B-roll it. Let's just take a look at what this looks like together.